Welcome back. So observables is going to be the toughest thing for me to explain this course. So what I want to do is I want to try and show it with a drawing here what's going to happen. So we are going to teach the observable how to get courses over the wire. We're going to explain that to the observable. We're going to tell it using um, an HTTP class that knows how to create an observable and how it will actually add the headers, the request information that we need to grab data from a REST API. So we are going to have a helper class that can figure out how to create such an observable for us, right? We're going to, that observable is not going to execute anything until the guy who creates the observable calls dot subscribe on the observable. Meaning that what we're going to do is we're going to make this available and then we can return it. So I'm going to, as an app component, say, dear service, I need an observable. And the service is going to say, there you go, here's an observable that knows how to do a get request. And then what we're going to do is we're going to ask the app component right after it's going to say subscribe to that request, to that observable, right? And as soon as we call subscribe, the observable will execute, go this way, get the data, return it, and when it's done, it'll actually pass the data back to us. But it won't happen until we press the subscribe. So if I do get observable, blah, 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 nothing happens. But as soon as I do the dot subscribe right here, it executes. If at any point during this time that it'll take to grab the data, I decide I don't want the data anyway, I can actually call another function called unsubscribe on the observable. And that would actually undo, unsubscribe, that would actually undo the call to the backend and stop the request. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't get any data back if I called unsubscribe any point. I'll show you this as well. So two things I wanna do, as soon as we create the component, we init the component, we're going to subscribe to this observable that's going to grab the data for us and put the data into the UI. And as soon as we destroy the app component, we're going to actually unsubscribe so we're sure that we've deleted the connection between these two because you can start getting some leaks of memory if you have too many connections to observables that are still listening. So that's what we're going to do in the next lesson. I'm sorry for spending so much time drawing this, but observables is so hard to explain and so hard to understand. So don't worry, give it some time, you'll get to it, and it's very easy to use when you understand it. See you in the next lesson.